Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how to import journal entries by using a body template in Fusion General Ledger module. So before getting to, uh, get into discussion, please do subscribe my channels and uh, please do share and uh, like it so that like it will reach out to as many IT professionals who is working on uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud financial models, so it may be helpful for them. Okay, yeah. The topic is how to import journals by using a BD template. So what is it stands for a BD template? So a BD is nothing but is one of the tool which Oracle has introduced in cloud application, file-based data import. So it will be very useful while we importing large value of the information from the third party or legacy systems. So let's get into yeah sorry uh, just getting stuck yeah so this is the diagram which will uh, give the high level picture about how to import general entries so as I mentioned sub ledger transactions are legacy application transactions it will move to the general ledger interface table and there it will import general import is which is the make a decision over here which is good data and bad data good data if it is everything is looks good the validation is passed then it move to the next level as general ledger journals entries here and if it is the data is not accurate then it will throw it to the error which is general import correction spreadsheet or general import deletion process if the data is wrong then as being as a consultant we need to go and review the spreadsheet of the corrections is which is nothing but the task name called as a import general entries um i mean it's the correct import data so once you download the file it will comes as a like an area bd template and then go and review the error records over there and then correct it again the reprocess the transactions so that is how this diagram will say about it here. If the good data is here, then it will go to the general posted here. And again, you say decision making here, which are the entries can post it or not posted. If the generals are good, then it will post it to the next level as general ledger, balance table and balances queues, which will go for the reports and balance inquiry, the final stage of the entries. If no, something is not posted let's say example there is some error issue happen example the period got closed or uh, if you're using any uh, translations and uh, secondary ledgers where it didn't open the period so as like that then we need to correct the data and then process it again okay so finally the data will go to the reports and balance inquiry yes so this is the high level diagram which will be talk about how to import journals so this is the steps which you need to follow the first one is need to download a bd template from oracle repository and uh, secondly enter required data in a bd template validate and generate gif file in csv format upload gif file into ecm server which is universal content manager run ESR jobs to import data to SaaS application, nothing but as a Fusion GL application and post journal to GL. So these are the steps which you need to follow in order to create general entries and the process. So here I would say ESR job called as a low interface file for import. This is a parent job and I will show you how to, when you run the, this program, right, there would be another two child jobs will get triggered automatically, which will extract that data from the ECM server to and keep in the interface table. And the final job is that import journals. This is the job which will be useful for us to get that data from interface table base tables and UCM server. So this is the object uh, owner name, fin general ledger journals and UCM account. So without this account, we cannot import the data. It will determine that where and how or which account name the data is going to be importing. Fin general ledger import. 
So this is the process which you need to follow. Let's get into application now. Yeah, so this is the, go to the Google and Google the docs.oracle.com. And here it will give the FBD templates for across all the finance models, including everything. And uh, go to the general ledger. And here there's a task name, journal import. If you go and click on this one, here you can see file links, XLM template. And this is the file control file where you can see and uh, download it and then like you know, start enter the data. So Ali, uh, I did download the file. This is the file looks like, okay. So this content of the two sheets, one is that instructions and a CSO generation and secondly, GL interface. So this one gives complete process flow, how to enter the data, what are the process we need to follow completely it will be added gives here how to correction the data also everything it is here if you don't know something then you can go and look at this process everything easily to you can use it to understand and proceed further go to gl interface here so status code is new ledger id so this ledger id you can get from this is the step where you can go main is primary ledger so once you call out that specific task there is a uh, id name will be there right i mean to say ledger id number will be there take that number id and keep it here okay and effective date transactions just keep in this format here here i can see it will represent that which format we need to follow for accounting date yy yy mm dd and uh, source which is source you are going to use it now we are going to use spreadsheet so that i'm giving as a spreadsheet uh, here and the category is adjustment on usd currency and this is the creation date the same as this transaction date here and the balance actual balance encumbrance or actuals i'm giving as actuals and here segments so segments as like like how you are entering the manually the transaction right i mean it's a general entry the same thing i have given here by uh, choosing the all the segment values and given the enter debit amount and the credit amount. So these things are enough to provide the data in the spreadsheet. So likewise, we can fill the this uh, ability template, how many records you want to import it. So for our demo session, I'm creating only one general entry here. So once everything is correct, that is called as a validation. Once you do the validation, go to the first sheet, go to the top, here you can see generate csv file click on that and save this file in your local system that is nothing but the desktop or anywhere you want to and here i i took as gl import save it again go there desktop import save okay yeah so now the system has i mean this is like we have generated the csv file format without header lines Whenever you see CSA format files, should not have the header lines for the any of the transactions. Okay, this is the data. So now let me go ahead and I will show you that like where I kept this file. This is the file which I kept. GL interface. Now, <clears throat> next step is that go back to your application, go to navigator, come down select tools under the tools see here uh, just i want to tell you two methods <laughs> sorry one is that directly you can go and import the file that's one method second thing is as a process wise you can go ahead file import and export you will go by second method yeah this is the page where you can see as the using content manager Okay, universal content manager. So just go and click on press symbol. Choose the file where it is lying. This is the file which I downloaded as a GIF file. And account name. You can know as I mentioned the, the PPT here. If you look at account name, this is the one which I need to select it now, right? So just go here and fin gl import. This is the 
account name save and close so now what we did just we uploaded the file into ecm server that's all and again go back to navigator go to tools select schedule process click on schedule new process run standard programs called as a load interface file for import save okay here you can see transfer setup or transaction data files from a user specified location to the interface tables save okay as a part of process we need to run the import process where you need to import it that is called as a journal uh, i would say import journals import journals select say okay and that's the data file which we generated the gif file this is the one right just save and submit it this is the process id just refresh the page until we get succeed now you can notice there are two additional child jobs will get triggered automatically we run the parent job called as a load interface file for import now you can see transfer file this is the one which is running right now just click on refresh yeah now we can see so second and third automatically it got triggered it's a child programs for this one okay so what is happening when you run this program is that now and the firstly we loaded the file into ucm server and then you run this program to extract the file from ucm server and keep transfer from there to interface table that's what it is doing it here load file to interface it means transfer the data from the ucm server to your interface tables and now click on schedule new process run import program import journals Say OK. This is the most important thing, spreadsheet here, right? So source we have given at the time of enter the data into the ABD template. What source we have given over there, that only you should select over here. If you are given the, the ABD template says that external system or uh, any other, other, other billing system, something like that, we have to sell the same in the source system as well as. If you, there is a difference, then you will not able to import the data. So we have given as spreadsheet. Select the spreadsheet and uh, ledger is ES primary ledger. And this is group ID, no group ID. And uh, post account error to suspense account is not required, right? Then click on submit. Take this process ID and uh, refresh the page until the process got succeed. running and wait succeeded so now our program got succeeded here just click on that and once again yes succeeded so now the job is completed so now what is next action go to home page and uh, here before home page just I will go to the navigator here again. Just I want to tell you, go and see the log files as output file. So how it looks like. So here you can go ahead and see, just click on here. Click on that here. Here you can see attachment to what there, right? Just go and click on that. Take it text one. Yeah, here you can see. Uh, here you can see that general import execution report. This report will tell us how many batches we have created here, right? So based on this one, we can understand either our entries got 
imported or not imported. Okay, so go back to here and go to application. Click on home page. Click on journals. Go to task. Select manage journals. Select accounting period. Select source. Spreadsheet. If you want to select category also, if you want adjustments, click on search. Yeah. See the last one which we have given the value over there. Adjustments. If you go and look at here, so what we have given the value. Thousand dollars. The same thing it got created here. Just click on the journals. It will show you. Yeah, here you can see. So general batch and the batch type is actual. This is what is represent, uh, representing about your actual what here. If you see, uh, yeah, yeah, actual flag. Yeah, actuals, right? It is showing here. Balance type is actuals. And um, source is per sheet, which is nothing but as a this one spreadsheet and adjustments categories adjustments this is what we have given usd the currency is we have given here usd that is what it is showing here and uh, date you can see here date is 1624 and the code combination which we selected here come down here you can see debit and credit this is the value description automatically will derive the based on the description rules what we have defined as seeded things. General import created. And here, batch status is unposted, completion status complete. And approval status is not required. If you're enabled at the ledger level, approval is required or not required. Based on that, it will go for the approvals. Right? So this is how we can post or you can create um, JS from the ABD templates. So this is the complete the process which you need to follow to create a journalist into the Fusion application. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe this video and channel and uh, share it and like it and comment it. So you'll be getting much more videos from uh, from my side in the future. Thanks for watching my video once again. And we'll catch up next video. Thank you.